Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. One four Papa, turn right two four five. Report localizer established two seven. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. If you've been watching the channel for some time now, you may have noticed that I've been regularly doing videos on carriers which have just ceased operations. I've covered the likes of June and more, and unfortunately today, I cover Germania, an airline which ceased all scheduled operations on the 4th of February, leading into the 5th of February of 2019. So Germania, who were they exactly? They were a privately owned airline in Germany, with bases in the likes of Berlin, Hamburg, Munich and more. However, they were headquartered in Berlin, it is worth mentioning. Germania were founded, though, as Special Air Transport, or SAT, all the way back in April of 1978, with just one aircraft, and since then, they moved from a charter airline to a scheduled carrier, with regular flights carrying passengers. While the airline did move towards scheduled passenger flights just recently, it did still operate the odd charter service right up until they ceased all scheduled operations and declared bankruptcy in early February. Germania had plans to upgrade its fleet with 25 Airbus A320neos on order. Deliveries for this new aircraft were set to commence in 2020 and would join up with their already existing A319s and A321-200s. Now, the airline did operate some 737-700s. However, they did have plans to phase all the remaining 737-700s out by the end of this year. Now, we've got an idea of what Germania was all about. What exactly went wrong with them? The carrier reported severe losses in Q4 of 2018. However, these losses weren't just for 2018. It said it had indeed been struggling for the past few years. The news came as the airline wanted to expand into Africa, Europe and North America and had an ambition to become an all Airbus operator by 2020, as you may have noticed when I touched on the fleet not that long ago. The news of the losses led to the owners looking for new buyers of the airline. However, just days before they announced their bankruptcy, payments of salaries to all their employees were said to be delayed in a move that highlighted the end was near for the airline. Germania carried some 4 million passengers annually on both scheduled operations and also charter services. However, they blamed the increased fuel prices and in turn higher than ever operating costs as one of the main reasons as to why they collapsed. The higher fuel costs has now seen a number of airlines either plummet into severe losses or collapse entirely, and it's meant we've been saying goodbye to major carriers far more often than anyone could have imagined and would have probably liked. While Germania will be ceasing operations, the two other units, with one based in Switzerland and the other being known as Bulgarian Eagle, will still remain. Germania said that the weakening of the euro against the US dollar was another contributing factor, with also the delays of phasing aircraft into its fleet and also high maintenance fees all contributing to the collapse of the airline. Did you, though, ever have an opportunity to see or fly on the carrier? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, I'd like to wish all the former employees of the airline all the very best in finding new work. And I would like to thank you for watching this video of mine. If you did enjoy it, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. The night, race all of these broken dreams and flight, and we'll fly.